Digital assets in the afterlife. Digital assets, NFTs, cryptocurrency are incredibly important to consider when it comes to our estate planning. Hi there, I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat finance planner here in Singapore. Over the last decade, particularly the last few years, we've seen tremendous growth in both cryptocurrency, digital currencies, and of course, NFTs or non-fungible tokens. Now, if you haven't heard of these things before, then you probably don't need to worry too much about estate planning for your digital assets. But if you do hold some of these and you're wondering what to do when it comes to your will, powers of attorney, testamentary trust, your overall estate plan, where these assets do differ is, the, is really within the instructions that you provide to your executor. Now, they can uh, form part of your will, just as shares or property or bonds or unit trust, whatever it may be, would typically form part of that will as well. But where they differ is the instructions you provide. When it comes to shares or a bank account being distributed to a beneficiary, it's very clear what an executor needs to do. Often it's taking the death certificate to the bank, having that those funds released and paid out to the estate to be distributed based on the instructions in your will. When it comes to an NFT or digital currencies, cryptocurrency, it's very different. Where are those assets stored? Who does your executor actually need to talk to? Is it a website? Have you stored these assets in a physical wallet? Is there a code? Often there will be a series of code words that are required to unlock the wallet. How will your executor or your beneficiaries actually be able to release the value of these assets? These are the things that we need to consider. And this is where we should store a separate, effectively record of our digital assets. It doesn't need to be anything complicated. It can be as simple as an Excel spreadsheet, listing who to contact, where the assets are held, and of course, any passwords or requirements to actually access them. Naturally, make sure this is secure, but make sure that it forms part of your estate plan and that your executor, your beneficiaries, your loved ones will know where to look when it comes to releasing the value of these assets.